All right. So today, like I said, we're talking about Gross Becker. Right. Um, so what is Gross Becker? So Gross Becker is the world's leading provider in industrial needles. Okay. Um, they are a family-owned business, um, owned and operated since 1852 oh, in wow. Germany. Like, I didn't even know they could mold needles back then. I, I didn't either, but I guess we need to brush up on our history books. Yeah, but, wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, some of you that have been quilting for a long time would have seen um, the yellow packages that were made by Singer. Um, so Corey's going to show you what that package looks like. Now, these are the Singer packages that were out a long time ago. They have now been replaced by Gross Becker, which are in the green packages. If you have that package, it's okay. It can still work. Um, but from now on, when you get new needles, they'll come in uh, the green Gross Becker package. And they're just really because uh, Gross Becker took over production of Singer. Right, yeah. They took over production of the needles from Singer, so yeah, they decided to different packages. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to tell you some fun facts. Some of the fun facts um, is a standard needle for a lock stitch. Mm -hmm. What do you think lock stitch means? I'm going to take a guess at lock stitch. just means our everyday quilting. Quilting. Quilting okay. and sewing. So gotcha. basically stitching. You're locking a stitch. Oh, there you there go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> lock stitch needle system is 134. Now that's the, the most common needle system. Okay. It's called 134. Okay. And you'll see that on your needles. Did you know that that system is available in 300 variations? So that 134 has yes. 300 different variations. 300 different variations. That's why it's so difficult to find the right needle sometimes. It is. So, like, <laughs> if you don't know what needle size you're going and you just say, oh, I just need 134, you got 300 choices. So, definitely <laughs> follow, definitely check with your quilting machine manufacturer yeah. to find mm -hmm. out which the, is the exact one for your machine. Yeah, you want to make sure you're using the right kind. Right. Um, we want to tell you a little bit about what MR stands for. And you'll see those on our needles and then for long arm quilting machines. Um, Corey, you want to tell them a little bit about that? Yeah. So, MR means multi range and it's multi directional. So, basically, as you know, when we're quilting, we move the machine in many, many different directions. Mm -hmm. So it's going to keep the thread from breaking as easy because okay. the needle is shaped a little differently to work that way. Yep, yep. And we'll see a picture of that in just a few minutes. Um, we want to talk about some of the special features of what an MR is. And we have actually some pictures here that we want to show you. So Corey's going to bring that over there. And we're going to kind of describe them together. And we're giving you a lot of information fast. Um, so we're giving you a lot of information fast, so you want to make sure, if, if you don't catch it, it's okay. After this post, you can always go back and look at it. Um, we want to make sure we're saying hi to everybody, too, that's joining us. Thanks for joining us. We see that people are joining us, so we, we, we love having people live with us. So thanks for taking your time out of the day. Um, so the first thing we're going to show is stability. Now, stability is the deflection resistance of the needle thanks to the special blade in the scarf geometry. Um, and you can see the pictures. Have, Corey has pictures that he's showing you. Um, the next one is thread protection, and basically that's a larger scarf. So if you look at the needle that has the, the red thread through it, that's an MR needle. You can see how the scarf is larger, so it helps protect it when the, when, anyway, when you're using the thread. The cross section at the eye center, that's a big, that's like a big statement. <laughs> um, the MR needle was designed so that its penetration force in the eye area is less than that of the standard needle. So... What she basically means by that is that, oops, if I can get my paper to stay steady here, um, is with the standard needle, you can see that it's kind of cutting the fibers of the fabric right here. As with an MR needle, it's spreading them across, um, apart, not across, to able to get that lock stitch in. Yeah, so it, it less basically less damage to the fiber as it's going through. Basically. The next thing is going to be thread loading. Um, basically, when you can see when the needle's changing sewing direction, how it pulls through. So at the picture, you can see where it goes, how it comes through. If it's going backwards, if your machine's going forwards, if you're going left to right. So you can see how the thread goes through and pulls through the needle as you're sewing in those directions. Um, the next one is loop formation. And basically, what loop formation is is it just is, it's helping prevent the thread from twisting so much. Yeah. So you can see that right here on the standard needle, it has a twist where it's not catching the the finger, and then we have this one with the MR that's giving it more of a loop so I can get that stitch. Awesome. And, and then the next one is pickup. And what the pickup is, it's basically it's a bigger scarf. Um, helps keep the thread from unwinding as much. And I think you can yeah, so picture Right it. here in the standard, it's um, the threads are unwinding a lot more compared to in the MR. It's holding them tighter together. Awesome. You want to come back over here? Yep. Okay. So if you are at home, if you are in your studio, and you want to grab a package of your needles, um, you know, feel free to. We're going to go over the numbers, and you can kind of go over the numbers with us. Um, or, again, you can watch this back. <laughs> so, if Corey also has some more demonstrations. So, we have all this literature for you today. We're like, this is Education Channel today. So, you brought me all the way back over here to send me all the way back over I did. There. I'm going to get my steps in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
So basically, you, you, the three most common needles that you're going to see out there, the types, is going to so you have R. And what R means, we also we know it as sharp, like a sharp needle. It actually means regular round point. Um, you use it for woven cotton fabrics, artificial leather. Um, that's going to be your most common needle that you're going to use most all the time. Um, the next needle that we're showing you, we don't carry this one, but we want to let you see it, is the FFG-SES. That's called a light ballpoint, and that's really for those um, light knitted fabrics, synthetic fabrics, um, you know, stuff that doesn't really have anything on it. Um, the next one is going to be, of course, we put the page. Now, this is our ballpoint that we sell. It's the FG-SUK. Now, that's a medium ballpoint. That's going to be for your knitted fabrics like your t-shirt quilts that have vinyl on it, you know, stuff that you're wanting to kind of get through that have that sticky, coarse, kind of elastic. Again, you can use this also if you're doing minky on minky. Um, so those are your most common type needles. The ones we sell are going to be the R, again, and then the FG. So I hope that helps to know the difference between the two types of needles. And then Corey's going to show you, you can grab the camera. You get to get more steps more in. More steps. <laughs> <laughs> if you have your package by now, we're going to talk a little bit about what those numbers mean. Okay. So the 134... Again, is a needle system type. The 1955 is going to be your category number. The SAN, that special application needle. That's what that SAN means. And the 11 is just a type size of that special application. And then your needle size is up in the corner, like one that says 110-18. You'll see um, over there 100-16. Those are your actual needle sizes. And then usually in the bottom, as you'll see where you see the R, or, and on the other ones, you'll see the, the FG. Those are your types. So that's how you can kind of tell what type of needle it is. So if you run into these packages and they all kind of look the same, those are the numbers that you want to look at. All right, Corey, you want to come tell us why, what needle we need for what fabric? Yep. Let's back up here. Get us all back and study. You guys are doing good. Thanks for keep staying on and keep watching. We're we know almost it's a, we know done. It's a lot of information. We just really wanted to give you guys this information. So. All right. So when we're talking about um, MR, the, we're going to start with 2.5 and 3.0. Okay. For those of you just joining us, MR is the multi-range. It's a multi-range. Okay. So, um, so the 2.5 and the 3.0, mm -hmm. they're really good for uh, silk fabrics, satin fabrics, um, delicates, even antique quilts. Okay. Um, the smaller the number on the needle, it's the like the smaller the needle is basically. Yeah. Um, so you you kind of using a thinner thread with that too. Correct. Okay. Um, so then we're going to go on to the 3.5 and the 4.0, and those are the most common needles that we sell when mm -hmm. people call us and they're like, "What's the most common needle that I want to use?" Which is like 16 and 18. Yeah, 16 and 18. Okay. Uh, 3.5 or 4.0, um, and those are used for cotton fabrics, mm -hmm. fatigues, your everyday quilts. Um, you see, your most common threads used with that one would be a Tex 30 or a Tex 40 thread. Yeah, like um, Omni Signature King Cut. All right, those. basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the last section that we have is the MR 4.5s and 5.0s, okay. and those are um, a lot bigger needles. Mm -hmm. So it's like denim, um, comforters, upholstery, and like really, really thick batting. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that you're going to want to use for that. Okay. Yeah, so basically the larger the, the number, it's going to be the larger the needle, right. which has the lar larger eye. Right. Um, so when you're comparing them. Um, and Corey found this really cool app. You want to show yes. them the app? Yeah. Okay. Let's go, I need to grab one of these, and I'll grab one of these. Yeah, he, so he found an app on the App Store, um, or the Android Store, and he's going to show you how, you know, what it looks like and how easy it is. And so everything we told you today, you can actually find on this app. All so, right. so we go ahead. Okay, so Gross Beckert has an app, and you can see right here, it's right up here at the top left. And when you download this app, you can uh, click into it. It is a free app, which is great. Um, you do not have to have an account or anything with it to get any information. You just open it up and you're ready to go. Um, so if you see some of the, the newer packages, they have these square barcodes on the sides. If you don't have a square barcode, you can still do the same thing. It's just easier with the square barcode. Um, so we take our app and right up here at the top left, see if I can get that, you have three little lines. If I click on those lines, if I can get it, there it goes. You have a search bar right there at the top. So I'm going to click on my search bar, and I'm going to type in the words label. And I can see that the fourth option down is sewing-label scan. I can click on that. It's going to take me to a new page, and I can either scan with my camera or manually input. 
Um, so that's what I was saying. You can scan with your camera with that barcode, or if you don't have a barcode, you can do a manual input. So I'm going to scan with my camera. Yeah, there's numbers on the bottom of the package, other packages that you can put those numbers in to so, manually input. So yeah, so I'll press scan with camera, and I'm going to have the, you just have your phone sitting like so, and it brings up your camera, and I can put that package right in front of it. You don't have to press the screen or anything. It's going to take a quick scan. It's going to show you the label, tell you all the numbers, and you also have videos and brochures and all sorts of stuff about the needles that you could ever ask for. So really good reading material yeah, about your really needles. Yeah, really good information. So everything that we're telling you today is just a brief of what you can learn about these needles. So if you just really want to learn all about growth spectrum needles, um, you know, there's the app for it.